Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of, uh, let's turn this up a little bit so I'm here. So, welcome to another episode of, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Spyro. We're playing Spyro again. Did I accidentally press new game? I'm not too sure. I really hope not. But it's not okay. Good. That's that's good. Okay. So yeah, I did some off-screen collecting. You know, like I like I usually do. I'm not even gonna bother with him. We want to see the new world. We want to see the new world, so I'm not going to bother with him. Okay, let's get to the new world. Oh my god. Did I fall off that time? Let's do this. So this is our fourth gameplay of Spyro, I think? Yeah. This next one's my favorite world. It's called the Beast Maker's Realm. It's a very nice place. It's... Oh my god. Yeah. Place, well, it's not a stupid place, it's a nice place. I mean, it's a really nice place. I'll, I'll show you. Oh my god, when can we get up the stupid stairs? I just want to get down this ramp. Okay, let's, let's go. We're good to go. Good work, Spyro, you must be faster than me. Look, what is that supposed to mean? Go to Beast, yeah, let's go to Beast Makers. Mm. We're doing this. Now within the first probably three seconds of entering this place, you can already see why it's my favorite. It's dark. It's got murky waters. It's just like the Midwest. It's just like Riverside. You know, it's... This is Illinois. This is Northern Illinois for you. I'm the only one who seems to like it, though. For some, for some odd reason, everyone else who lives here hates it. I, I will never understand why. It's like the greatest place ever. It's the greatest place ever that's not in Europe. Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junkie. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. See, he doesn't even like it. He doesn't even like his own homeland. We're gonna head into Terrace Village. It's a village on a terrace. It's a nice place. It's a nice place, I gotta say. Look at those swampy waters. We got nice architecture all around. I forgot what buttons I'm pressing. It's been a while, people. It hasn't. It's been a month. It's been a month. So really, it hasn't been that long. But still, my skills are crappy. Still, I get gunned down.
Don't ask me why. I just... I'm not as good as I thought I was. See, you got these norks right here, these purple norks with the laser things on a stick. Then you got these stupid gunners. I don't... I don't remember those tanks being very annoying. But they sure are now. Uh, they sure are pretty annoying now. I didn't have much trouble with them last time. Actually, I feel like that's a lie. I feel like I might have had some trouble. I feel like, yeah, I might have had some trouble with these last time. It's always possible. I don't remember really how much trouble I had with these. I probably had a lot of trouble with them. At least they're not as bad as Nork Commandos, let me tell ya. Let me tell ya, those Nork Commanders, they're super annoying. I'm, I'm gonna fly over his head. Glide straight over here. We need some... No! No, they're... There aren't many dragons to save in this level. We're only getting to the first one once we climb these stairs here. Who's this, Claude? Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity. Really stings. Yeah, I agree. Why don't more places do that? Why don't, why don't more places like try to stop people by electric flooring? Like, why isn't that a thing people have in their house, like for their security, for their household security system? You know, people should be doing that. It's a good method. I mean, you could just use like. A, you could just use a distance monitor, but then you always have to check on it from time to time. Well, does it notify you? I think it notifies you by motion sensing, by motion sensing all those uh, kleptomaniacs out there, you know? I think it notifies you when someone's trying to steal stuff from your house. But still, I'm not totally sure if that's true. And I'm dead. Go, 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 go. It's best to charge these electric floor guys because they, they attack fast, so... Siren, what is with that po- 
toes. Stop, stop doing that. That's really creepy. Oh. Never talk to me in that position again. Oh, the 90s were different times. A lot of more things were acceptable back then. Some of them are reasonable, some of them are... Some of them are reasonable, some of them really aren't. Something in my braces. Oh, uh. the other way too. Okay. It's got an electronor. I repeat, they have an electronor. Okay. Let's do this. We gotta time it right. sometimes, but uh, other than that, they're pretty easy to take out. Go, Mr. Bog. You know, this is my kind of place. Dark, cold, and wet. That's my ideal place. I like those kind of places. Most people want to go somewhere tropical with, like, nice, tropical, deserty, tropical, sunny, I can get a tan weather. But not me. There's these dragon eating plants here. I I think heat is overrated. Heat is overrated. That might be just me because I'm half Florida boy. But I hope most of my family lives in Florida. So that might be like a genetic thing. I'm pretty sure that's like a genetic thing. Oh my god, this is so bad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure my love for the cold is a genetic thing. 
because of my family living in Florida for generations, it's kind of like, you know, I'm glad I live in Illinois, because Florida, let me tell you, Florida is not, Florida's not as uh, nice weather as you think. It's a great place to visit, but the weather is horrible. I must admit, everyone living there would agree. It's not the, it's the worst weather ever. Cause you always feel sticky and whatnot there. I remember this one time we went to one of those shacks, like what, restaurant shack places. Beach shack sort of places. It was so hot that, uh, <laughs> it was really hot. Uh, Okay, so, yeah, uh, as I was saying, um, yeah, I couldn't, my head hurt a lot because of the heat. You know? Their attack animation takes long. So yeah, my head hurt a lot, uh, because of the heat, like I couldn't see straight. It was It wasn't hot like that for the rest of the days. Luckily it rained a lot when we went to Universal. Everyone in, everyone, everyone right now watching from Illinois or another oh. cold place probably would be like, really? But yes, oh. I was glad it rained. The Chicagoland area by contrast is like... The Chicagoland area, Midwest, all that. The entire Midwest is like a winter wonderland for like th for three months, and then in the summer it gets hot. It's been cooling down lately, which is good because which is good because we might get be getting back to that. Uh, to that cold temperature I like that we usually have in Illinois. Dark, cold, and wet. That's how I like it. So I like visiting Florida, but it's just not... It's just not the best place. It's not. It doesn't have the best weather. It's really... Good to visit, but doesn't have the best weather, really. Alright. Hi, Jax. So, yeah, Beast Maker's home is exactly the same as here in Illinois. That's what's good about it. Pe people. People from other U.S. hotspots might say the. The Midwest is boring, but I have something to say for them. Have you ever considered that your places are too normal? That's what I say. Because places like California, you know, everyone wants to go to California. But everyone there is like, everyone there is so normal. 
and I don't like it very much. Most of the population is normie millennials, you know? Everyone just, like, people there aren't very interesting. It's not... And they don't think... Everyone here hates the weather. I don't understand it. Because, to me, this is like paradise. I love how dark, cold, and wet it is all the time. Except for in the summer. Most people don't hate the summer. I do. I mean, I like swimming and whatnot. But that's only because I don't have to experience the heat. I'm tired of Don't just stop at one supercharge. This is one of the hardest areas in the game. <laughs> so that guy was right. There's a lot of supercharging in this. I probably should have stopped charging while I was doing it and started gliding. Forgot to do that. We'll come back to treetops in a second. Uh, actually, let's just stay here. So, the only reason I like going to the pool is because it's like, because you don't feel cold anymore. You know? So, I... I don't like hot weather. In conclusion, you're probably bored of me. Keep talking about it. Just, yeah. Totally understandable. These guys right here, these weird monkey guys, they're annoying. I've never been able to jump over it like that. Oh! Did you see that? Did you see him do that to me? That was like, that was something else right there. Wow. Did he have to knock me? Did he have to knock me out into the stratosphere right there? I mean, I got knocked hard back. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharged wave, you can really go far. I don't think any other melee tank enemy can do that. Ranged tanks can definitely not, so we're not even gonna talk about that. And I charged mid jump. Again. I kept charging mid mid super ramp. There we go. Let me tell you, this place is hard to navigate. Hey look, an eye box with a thing inside, a dragon statue. Extra life. One up. We're good to go. Did I just get good at that? And it sends me straight back. I forgot that was there from last time I played this game. I 
I think I'm actually gonna make it this time. Let's get these. Funny thing, those uh, spinny things. I didn't know I had to spin on them before. I. I was really wondering how to open those. I thought I needed a super thing to open them. Turns out, no, I didn't need one of those. I just needed to, I just needed to flame it multiple times, which how was I supposed to know that? Because it's metal and you can't flame metal. Okay, anyway, let's go around here. We're gonna fight the boss. Do not, do not, do not activate that. Yes, do not activate the charge, Doctor. TF2 references. How about a little, uh, I don't know, never mind. Confronting Metalhead. I have a song to sing for you, but I'll sing it at the end. Look, see, these are armored banana bullets, so you can only charge them, and they, they do damage when they run into you? That's not fair. Actually, that is, because that's physics. It has enough force to do some damage. How come one's bigger than the other? Are these boys and these are the men? Or what? Are they two different species of monkey? What is happening here? They don't look very different, if you ask me. Die. There we go. How about I sing you a song? Yeah, after we after I explain this boss, I'll sing you a song. Random song of the day. Hey, how about we start that? How about I do a random song every Spyro episode? Or just this big every gaming episode. To meet you. Attacking the powerful should disrupt its power supply. Yes, so we gotta stop. So you can't attack him while the pillars are up, and you can't attack the pillars while they're red. So you gotta charge the pillars. Oh, you can trick him into doing it himself. Look at that. You can trick him into doing it himself. See, he's like a robot guy. Oh, 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 Levi. <laughs> Throw it. Throw the banana boy. Yes. Let's see, we don't have to even attack them ourselves. Okay, he's running. Time for song of the day. Ouch. I'm going to give you a, uh... Hey, your neighbors. Okay, here's a song for you. Here's my rendition of Ten Duel Commandments. Because this is kind of like a duel, in the sense that you 
battling one person who's throwing more people at you. I mean, that's not allowed in a traditional duel, no, but, um... Uh, You know, anyway. Uh, read, read, read. So, oh yeah, Ten Dual Commandments. I was singing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten dual commandments. Ten dual commandments. Number one, the challenge demands satisfaction. If he apologizes, no need for further action. Number two, if he does grab a friend, that's your second. Your lieutenant, when there's reckoning to be reckoned with. Ha ha ha! That's how you beat the boss. You don't even have to attack him, I guess. You just destroy his pillars. Number one hardest glide in the game. It's considered the hardest glide in the game. See, look, it's hard to make. Why didn't they do hovering in the original? No one cares about camera focus. Actually, why not? Why don't you use D-pad up or something like that as camera focus instead? Yeah, that's the middle There we go. Never finished my song, but okay. That's fine. I'll do. I'll, oh, okay. I'll. I'll do this later. To rescue 50 dragons, I think. How many dragons do I have? I have 46. Yeah, I will uh, end the video here. Like, share, subscribe. Also, uh,. Stay safe in the Rona times. Uh, you know, wear a mask. Wear a mask. Okay, that's a yeah. I referenced a song I made. And it, wear a mask in quarantine. Uh, and uh, yeah. Like, share, subscribe as well. Uh. Yeah, you know that 12% of my viewers are unsubscribed. You've, you've heard YouTubers say that before. I don't actually know the statistics. Anyway, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.